Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to today's video. It's been some time because I've been on a cruise to Turks and Caicos. We ran a bit, we had a baby shower with 50 people, the most people we've ever made, where I smoked two briskets, four pork butts, and 15 pounds of um, chuck roast for poor man's burtons. And that was, I think, 85 pounds of meat um, for 50 people. So, Lots of events, but we are back on it. We are a month out from uh, the marathon, so super excited about it. The game plan for today, gonna take you guys through a day of eating, training, I got my interval day today, um, and also lifting, that, eating, yeah, so a bunch of stuff for today. Um, with that being said too, um, I had a three hour run scheduled for this last weekend. Just got back from Turks and Caicos, where I was with some other of my uh, entrepreneur friends, kind of like masterminding and also exploring Turks and Caicos. Um, and I got sick uh, as of the weekend that I got back. Had a three hour run scheduled that I had to cut short after about like uh, uh, an hour and a half. I was feeling good, my body was feeling good, couldn't take the deepest of breaths, but after like an hour and a half, I was like, ooh, things are not feeling good in the chest area. So like, let's let's call this one. So I get to retake that 20 mile run, so three hour run this upcoming weekend, and this is my interval day where we're gonna get some speed going. But without further ado, just wanna say where I've been, what's going on, and it's colder in Jersey, which one, I get to whip this guy out. It is a snowman made of weights. And then also, I've been like running probably almost a minute per mile faster when it's been like 50, 60 degrees rather than when it's like 80, 90 degrees. So I'm learning. But let's get some breakfast in. I got some caffeine. If you guys know, you know. Best flavor of Monster. Got the OG. Um, OG flavor, but it's the zero. And uh, I'm gonna whip up some breakfast. So for breakfast, what we got is two scoops pea science protein. So we got frosted chocolate cupcake. Kapow. Um, my favorite flavor, you can always save using my uh, code, Hanesty, for to save like 10% on their website. So mix that into a pudding, just water, and two scoops of that. Mm. I've been calling this anabolic dunkaroos on social media. So we got some rice cakes, and you just break them in half, and then you dip it in here. You got high protein dunkaroos. Phenomenal. All right, so we've made it to the gym. We're gonna do some shoulders and arms before we hit that run. So gonna get things started, do some lateral raises, and gonna do a little bit of forearm curls because my elbow is still doing elbow things. So let's get into it. Love is so blind, but I left my glasses at the house where we met almost three summers back. You can't blame me for the crazy things you made me do Love is so blind, think I got caught in a trap All 
right, we are back. It is about a little after 6.30. So arm day was like about an hour because trying to go hit this run, hit the run while it's still cold in the morning and get it done before my work stuff. Today is my interval run. So that just means it's something different from a long prolonged run. So I have five running days per week. Three are like runs of four to eight miles where it's kind of a zone two pace, which for me now is like nine and a half to, to 10 minutes or so. So I keep my heart rate in like that 140 to 150 area. Today is intervals where I can push intensity a little bit. And usually there's sh shorter bursts in there. So today what we got 1.5 mile warm up. We got three miles at a 745 to 755 pace. Very fast for me. I really want to hit like an eight minute mile average at the marathon, which is going to be very challenging. We'll see what's there on the game day, but getting sub eight minutes for three miles, that's going to be, you know, pretty challenging. Kevin, you just say you're trying to do that for 26 miles. Yes, but the taper is supposed to be helpful, but um, that's kind of, you know, it could be wishful thinking, but this is going to be a challenging three miles at 745 to 755 minutes per mile. Uh, then a one mile jog, so kind of like a recovery mile. Then I have four sets of 800 meters, so that's a half mile. Each of those are gonna be a pace of 710 to 720 minute miles. So very fast, but it's also gonna be half mile um, kind of runs. So we'll see how that goes, and then 1.5 mile cool down. So some good intensity mixed up there. It's really good to get used to going at your target speed. And the other five or four runs I have during the week, so I have three kind of four to eight mile runs, one interval day, which this has a three month or three mile kind of long piece and then a couple half miles. And then my fifth run of the week is the long run, which this last weekend I was supposed to do 20 miles, my longest run yet. But because I got sick, I had to call it after like nine miles. Um, just didn't want to mess with some chest tightness that started to come up. So might as well be safe. Um, so that's kind of the game plan for today. Want to walk you guys through a little bit of the gear that I got for running in case you want to pick up running. Um, something I learned as like a heavier runner, um, just runners in general is like people talk about, you know, high impact, not great for your knees. Um, so you want to do your best to put yourself in a place of managing that risk. So a couple things. Um, first, you want to get a pair of training shoes. I went with the Saucony uh, Endorphin Speed 3s. So these are good shoes, solid cushion. Um, I got this because I saw Nick Bear was using them and he's also a 200 pound plus runner. Um, ex bodybuilder, went into some running. Um, so these are good. Usually you can get apparently like 300, 400 miles on these. So after I hit 400 miles the other week, I did get a second pair of them, but I couldn't find blue because that blue was pretty sweet. I'll show you that again. Look at that blue. Duh, delicious. And also there's a little cookies and cream action. You see that? Little cookies and cream action there. You know, it's got those black speckles. I like that. Um, and then I got the these pink ones to replace them. No cookies and cream action, unfortunately. They're this pink magenta, magenta um, kind of color, and uh, they're fine. Get the job done. Um, but I'll probably be able to run run those for a lot of my training miles. So I usually do like um, out of those five runs, I'll do the three moderate lengths. Um, most of my long runs I do in these, unless there's a speed component, like a target pace. Um, and then for interval days or something with like more of a speed component, these are my race day shoes. So these are the crap. I already forgot. I think alpha flies, alpha flies. It's supposed to say it Nike zoom, Nike running. It's supposed to say, I'm pretty sure it was alpha fly. All right, great, let's, let's not tell me. So I'm gonna have to confirm that and it'll be here, but I'm pretty sure these are alpha flies. Um, but the reason why these are actually more expensive than those, you know, main trainers, and these actually have a shorter lifespan. So those you can get 300, 400 miles. When I read like kind of your race day shoes usually has a carbon plate, which means that these have more bounce to them, which means if I bend this, it's gonna really like um, shoot forward or just kind of, yeah, bounce. Um, and then it's also typically a very light shoe as well. So these are my race day shoes, got a really cool color. Um, these are the Alpha Fly Next Percent something or other, but I kind of found them, these were old release and I found them in a cool color, but then I had to buy them off of like Goat or something. But yeah, those apparently have like more of a 100 mile lifespan where you're gonna get that really good bounce. Um, my coach, 
um, did say that he's gotten, um, so Adam, he's gotten like, I think 200, 300 miles out of his, and he's somebody who's experienced in this, probably knows when they have bounce or not. Um, so got to listen to, to coach, but I'm trying to be pretty conservative on those. I've probably only put in 20, 25 miles in them today. I'm probably going to use them because I'm doing some speed work and trying to get some good paces. So I'm going to use those today, probably for my 20 mile long run that I'm retrying this weekend. I'm just going to use the um, training shoes. And then I have a marathon pace test, which I think is going to be like 11 miles at my target pace. So I'll probably be using the, um, the alpha flies. So more than that speed shoe. Um, so that's just kind of like, I mean, if you're doing a marathon prep, getting into running, um, things that I learned, there's a lifespan of your shoes. You can't just buy one pair of shoes and expect them to last like years on end. If you're a high mileage runner, um, kind of look in that 300 to 400 space and kind of keep your shoes fresh just so you keep your, your knees, your hips, everything feeling good. It's worth that kind of peace of mind. Other things for today. Um, this is running a long clip, so I'm going to be having, here's my preferred carbs right before my, my run. These are so good. Nerds gummy clusters. You can have pretty much any really quick digesting carb and I've been doing these. They're phenomenal. It's kind of like these little clusters that are kind of crunchy and then there's like gummy in the middle. So they're awesome. So I'll probably have a couple servings of this to fuel the nine miles I'm about to do. Um, for runners, this bottle is phenomenal. It does not, there's water in it. It does not drip unless you squeeze. Um, so that's really great to run with. Um, and we'll see, I may have a carb gel or two while running because I just want to train my body to take carbs while I'm actually performing because 26 miles, you're gonna burn like 2,600 calories. Probably gonna to wanna to replace some of those carbs you're burning. But yada yada, I'm probably gonna grab an energy drink and then we're gonna get this run started. All right, some other things I do want to share with you guys while I'm just going over all my running gear. Um, <clears throat> the shorts that I use, it's the ones I'm using today. You can barely see them. Let me... So here are the shorts that I am using today. They're pretty sweet. They have a liner, which is great. Ugh, quads. And so really like these because um, chafing, big issue for me. I mean, even when I was like in my powerlifting days, my skin rips pretty easy. So chafing. Protection has been really great, especially if you have bigger thighs. So I like the liner. I never liked liners before I had to actually, you know, be running. So I like these. These are um, pants from Chubby's. I do have a link down below that saves you, I think like 10% or so. So you can check that out. Um, but yeah, these have liners, pretty cool colors, a little bit of stretch size down in them. I got an XL for my first pair of these. It was a little bit too big and I wasn't able to like tighten it as much as I wanted. So I actually sized down to a large, I typically am XL in um, shorts. So keep that in mind, that was sizing down for me. Um, maybe according to waist, it's on size, but typically I go XL because I've done 15 years of squatting. Um, other things, element, really good thing to have on hand. So this is a gram of sodium. When you're sweating, you're not just sweating away f uh, water, it's water and electrolytes. So highly uh, concentrated of sodium. Uh, that's been helpful. And then I'm gonna be sipping on Alani New. This is gonna be 200 milligrams of caffeine before my run. It's a smaller can, so a little bit less fluid, just so I don't have to pee too much. Um, and yeah, that's the game plan for this run. Just wanna show you guys all the gear. And then I do have my sunglasses, which you'll see me wearing. Um, and those are just like $20 off Amazon. But I can give you guys the exact ones that I got. We are back. We just did the run. Um, and it was nine miles, but went pretty fast. And as far as these sunglasses I was gonna tell you guys about, I don't know if they do anything, but keeps glare out of the eyes, which is, I guess, nice. Um, this is H-A-A-Y-O-T on Amazon. I just do men's running sunglasses. Hey, yeah, and they're 20 bucks, and I did lose one pair, so I just got another pair. So $20, you don't have to worry about losing them. I don't know, if you get something expensive, then you gotta worry about losing them. Um, so just finished up that run went really really well, but definitely I was pretty ambitious This was uh, my second run after being a little bit sick um, And I guess I'll put up all the times I'm gonna send those up to Nicole. So the warm-up hit a 918 pace That's really good for me for a warm-up So like that's an easy pace the three-mile run the target was to be in 745 to 755 hit 736 when I do these paces if there's like a target pace that my coach gives me Shout out to Adam. Um, I try to beat it by like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, because I always assume that fatigue is going to slow me down, but then I end up not allowing myself to slow down and then kind of just have a, get a high heart rate. Um, so, I mean, the good thing is I beat the pace. 
Um, the bad thing is you're not really supposed to beat your paces, your targets. You're supposed to just hit them, so my bad, Adam. Then I had the slow, so kind of like took that pretty chill, 9.15. And then I had the four uh, half miles. The cool thing, I ran these on my street because the track now with high school in session, I would have to finish my run by like 5.30 a.m. and it's dark and that just doesn't sound too fun for me. So I just did them out here after my training. And the cool thing is, is my street is about a mile. So I just have to walk or run down and back because it's a cul-de-sac. So it's kind of like a loop and that's gonna be an entire mile. So I just get to go kind of like halfway for these halves and that was perfect. Um, but each one, you know, the first three were all around 650, which is fast. Target pace was 710 to 720. Um, the last one was 710 because it was starting to get pretty tired. But um, the cool thing about that and what I've learned with running is a lot of it's very relative. So after I hit those like 650 paces and 710 pace, even though it was just for a half mile, when I did my cool down mile and a half, 815 pace seemed very smooth. And I was like recovering my heart rate during that. So that was probably the thing I'm most happy about is 815 pace for a mile and a half at the end of all this. Um, Felt like I was recapping, recouping, uh, so that was good. But overall, really good run. Um, I did have a gel while out there. Funny thing is one of my buddies, um, shout out to Harry Centennio. Apparently I'm on this thing called, well, this, this app called Reddit, and I'm in this thing called R Running Circle Jerk. Um, and it has my cruise half marathon on there. So if you see that, where's Running Circle Jerk? I don't know, but it has like that, the video that I posted on there. And um, a lot of people are like, why are you having goose to run a half marathon at a two hour and 10 minute pace? Um, so half marathon at a 10 minute per mile pace, it's gonna be two hours, 10 minutes. And I'm not trying to, it was a training run. So I'm trying to save, you know, the really hard runs for controlled ones like today. These were hard runs where I was hitting like kind of around that eight minute pace. Um, and then the majority of training should be at that like zone two, which for me is like nine and a half, 10 minute miles. Um, and just stacking up a lot of volume there. Um, so that's one thing. <laughs> I know a lot of this is said in jest. Uh, and then also they're like, why are you having three of these goos to run a half marathon? They're like, oh, that's kind of stupid. But I think for, as far as I've been like seeing a lot of people in a marathon, because it's going to be, you know, you're not eating for, let's say three hours if you're super fast. Um, you're going to want to have one of these every 30 to 60 minutes. So practice how you play. So I've been putting these in. Even today, I had one of these mid run just to get used to having a gel while training because when it comes to marathon time, if you burn 2,600 calories in, you know, running, you're probably going to want to have some, you know, get some cars back in your system. So probably when I'm there, these are going to be at all like the water stations and I'm probably going to have, I don't know, five, six, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. Um, we'll see how that one plays. But my coach says um, like every 30, 60 minutes, um, but yeah, those are the two things. But if you guys want a good laugh, go check out Running Circle Jerk. Um, cruise Half Marathon, and my post is on there. So that should be a fun time. But I'm gonna eat some food. And I'll show you guys what I'm currently obsessed with for the post-run meal. Ah, check out what I just made. I'm obsessed with this. It's just good old anabolic French toast. Again, 10 servings of egg whites. We got six slices of 647 bread, some of this. And honestly, um, underrated and cost-effective uh, sugar-free syrup, Walmart. Their 15 calorie sugar-free syrup, um, because we couldn't find Mrs. Butterworth or really any other ones, and Walton Farms has kind of been nerfed over the past couple years. Um, phenomenal, so highly recommend it. Um, but gonna eat this. I've been making this like two, three times a day the last like week or two. I usually just get obsessed with something. Recently it was uh, those uh, anabolic grilled cheeses, and right now I'm on a French toast kick, so this stuff's phenomenal. It does take some time to make though, but 10 servings of egg whites, just throw it in a bowl, mix it up with cinnamon, sweetener, and then you mix it up, you soak it, and then you just cook it. But it does take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna eat this up, and then I need to get a shower done and get into some work. So talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so we are back. We got the next meal, just been getting some work done. I'm feeling super comfy. This uh, Young LA shirt, it's just very comfortable. Uh, we got some high protein grilled cheeses. So that is what they're looking like. It's fat-free cheese. We just use the Act Stop and Shop um, store brand. Fat-free singles are 25 calories each. I think they're like, oh man, four grams of protein each. And then we got uh, 647 bread. So I'm having a ton of fiber today. 
Um, but the beauty of these is for four of these is over 50 grams of protein. Um, so I do two slices of cheese per um, sandwich. So easy way to get a ton of protein in. Um, and it's super cheesy. Very cheesy. I usually like the orange singles as opposed to the white singles. I don't know. I think they just taste different, but it could just be like the whole uh, color um, piece. But I think the the white tastes a little bit different. But ultimately, super tasty. I think they were out of the, the regular ones. Um, but yeah, been doing these anabolic grilled cheeses, French toast. And uh, your boy is definitely not missing on fiber. So, gonna eat these up and I will see you guys probably for the next meal. Oh. It's like, like, it's like this. No, because I was gonna say, if you don't like the gnocchi, you can take some of my pasta. I would never. Why would I like it? What is going on? So just got back from dinner. We went to this place called Ciro's out in uh, New Jersey. It's like an Italian spot. Nicole loves their Fra Diavolo. So a ton of seafood, as you saw from the clip. Um, yeah, a ton of seafood on that. And then I pretty much finished up what she couldn't finish. So I had some of that, a lot of bread to get started. And I had a uh, two grilled salmon uh, fillets on a salad. So I'm super happy. I had a good time. Uh, I had about 2000 calories to eat from that meal, probably all the things that I ate, maybe it was like 1500 calories, had a good amount of bread. Um, so maybe I have, you know, 300, 400, 500 calories, something like that. But I had, uh, so target calories for my days right now is like 27, 2800. I did about 10 miles today, nine, 10 miles. So I'm just gonna say I can add a thousand on top of that. So it's gonna put me at 37 or 3,800 calories. Um, before that last meal, kind of the macros that I was at, we already had hit before I left. Ooh, protein's actually relatively low. 167 grams of protein, I hit 336 carbs, 15 fat, 100 grams of fiber. Because you saw a lot of French toast, I did my uh, my grilled cheeses, and I had my, uh, my other starting meal. Um, so that's kind of where we are right now. And then before the day is over, I'm gonna have me a Gatsby chocolate bar. I'm obsessed with these, you can get them at Walmart. I actually just watched their Shark Tank episode. It's by the makers of, or at least one of the co-founders of Halo Top. So lower calorie uh, chocolate bar. So 200 for this giant bar. Very excited. Um, chocolate cream pie is the best, best flavor. Um, so gonna be finishing this one up and that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I am about a month out from my first marathon ever and I'm excited about it. We're getting excited about it, but got some final things to, to figure out going into our HFP retreat. We're going to Denver in about, crap, I leave in like five days. And we're gonna try to knock this one out of the park. Our biggest retreat ever. Last one, we had 14 of our clients out there. This one has 25. We got six people from the team coming in, 31 people. So we're hoping it's gonna be a banger. Uh, so excited about this one. So that's kind of the next big, big project. Knocking that out, got the marathon, got a baby girl on the way. So a lot of exciting things going down, but um, it's easy to get overwhelmed. I just kind of focus on eating this chocolate bar, but I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.